the passionate shepherd to his love. C. Marlowe. I did like this emotional little poem, so light-hearted, talking about a life close to nature. When the author speaks of gold, silver, and ivory, I get the sense that even if the words are a substitution for something else, the sentiment is the same. This young shepherd, I think he's young, is full of confidence, and I wish him well. It's a melodic madrigal, like a bird song. He really pours his heart out in a charming way. The riches he speaks of come in all that they are surrounded with, the hills and the valleys, the finest wool from their own lambs, and good company. All these things that are important to him, he would like to share with a like-minded person, and there's wisdom in that. Would she not say yes? The passionate shepherd to his love is certainly an affirmation of the value of a life close to nature. The Passionate Shepherd to His Love Come live with me and be my love, and we will all the pleasures prove that hills and valleys, dale and field, and all the craggy mountains yield. There we will sit upon the rocks and see the shepherds feed their flocks by shallow rivers to whose falls melodious birds sing madrigals. There will I make thee beds of roses and a thousand fragrant posies, a cap of flowers and a kirtle embroidered all with leaves of myrtle, a gown made of the finest wool which from our pretty lambs we pull, fair lined slippers for the cold with buckles of the purest gold, a belt of straw and ivy buds with coral clasps and amber studs. And if these pleasures may thee move, come live with me and be my love. Thy silver dishes for thy meat, as precious as the gods do eat, shall on an ivory table be prepared each day for thee and me. The shepherd swains shall dance and sing for thy delight each May morning. If these delights thy mind may move, then live with me and be my love.